Okay, in this video we're going to look at evaluating com composition functions. We have these problems from the textbook we're going to use to review competition, composition or composite functions. So first the uh, first three problems are just evaluations. Now I made a chart of values for each of these. They're on the graph as well, but you can see this is going to help me look at the values that I'm looking at. Negative 8, 2, um, negative 5, 4. Now these graphs are smooth, so there's points in between, but we're probably going to stick with the ordered pairs that are on the dots here. So we're going to, I just made a chart so it can help me look up the values quickly. So here is my first problem. So I'm going to take g of f of x of f of negative 8 and evaluate that. So I look at this value first, the inside of the function. That's going to be f of negative 8, which is right here in the problem. f of negative 8 is right there. So this is going to be really g of 2. And then I go to the G chart, I look at 2, here's G of 2, so my answer here is negative 4 for the first problem. The next problem, I'm going to have um, the next problem I'm going to have uh, the reverse of that, so I'm going to take and find G of negative 8 first. So that's going to be f of g of negative 8. That's going to be negative 2 this time. That's right here. And then I'm going to do f of negative 2, which is 1 here in the chart. Uh, negative 2, 1. Now if I was looking at the order of points, order of pair of points, I'd be doing the same thing. So let's do this. I'm um, looking at the graph and doing this. So this is g of g of 7. So I'm going to look at the graph twice. So I'm going to find out what g of 7 is. This is the red graph. So g of 7, we're following around. Here's 7 right there. So g of 7 is 0. So I'm going to do g of 0, because that's what a g of 7 is. I'm going to follow this along till I find 0. Here it is. So the answer is negative 6 to this one. All right, and the final one here on the graph. Um, we're going to do f of negative 5 first. So f of negative 5 following the blue graph, negative 5, oops, passed it right here. So the answer is 4. So g of 4. Okay, and then I follow the g graph till I hit 4 right here. So the answer is negative 6 also. All right, so either using a chart or following the graph there. Now, part two and three, um, you're evaluating the function here. So that means you're plugging in the values to the function. It doesn't give you a graph or a chart. So on part A, we're doing f of g of 2. So we're going to evaluate g of 2 first. So this is number 2. So off to the side, I'm going to plug in 2 right here because there's my g function. So that means I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say, okay, that's um, negative. It's 1 minus 2 times 2 squared. So 1 minus, uh, that's 4 times 2. So 1 minus 8. So that's going to be negative 7. So I'm going to take f of negative 7 now because I evaluated g of 2. Now I'm going to plug in negative 7 into the f function. This was g of 2. Now I need to do f of negative 7. So that's going to be 3 times negative 7 minus 5. So negative 21 minus 5. So negative 26 is the answer to Part A. Okay, part B for 2. I'm doing F. No, I'm not doing F. I'm doing G 
g of f g of f of negative 2. All right, so I'm going to do f of negative 2 first. So that's going to be 3 times negative 2 minus 5, which is negative 11. So then I'm going to do g of negative 11. So that's going to be um, 1 minus 2 times negative 11 squared, which is going to be 121 times 2. And then we're going to subtract 1 from it. 1 minus this is 242. So I'm going to get negative 241 for this one. And then part C, um, we're going to do f of f of 4, f of f of 4. Okay, so we're going to take f of 4, and we get 3 times 4 minus 5, so the 12 minus 5 is 7. So we're going to then take f of 7. So that's going to be 3 times 7 minus 5. So 21 minus 5 is going to be um, 16. So that's going to be my answer. So 16 for part C. And then for part D. We need to move this down, it looks like. All right, part D. I have G of G of negative one. So we're going to do g of negative 1. So that's going to be 1 minus 2 times negative 1 squared. So that's 1 minus 2. So that's negative 1. So we're going to do g of negative 1, which we just did. So that's still negative 1. So we just keep getting negative 1 there. All right. So those are the answers to 2. Now let's put 3 right over here. Okay, so we're going to do f of g of 2. Okay, so we're going to do g of 2, which is going to be 2 squared, 4 times 2, which is 8, plus 1, that's 9. So we're going to do f of 9, and that's going to be the square root of 11. 9 plus 2. All right. Number or letter B, we're going to do G of F of negative 2. So we're going to do G of, or we're going to do F of negative 2 first. F of negative 2 is going to be negative 2 plus 2, that's 0, so it's the square root of 0, which is 0. So we're going to do G of 0 now to figure out our answer. G of 0 is 2 times, well, 0 squared is 0, times 2 is 0, so we're going to get 1 here for this one. All right, letter C. We're going to do F of F of 4. Um, F of 4 is the square root of 6, 4 plus 2 is 6, square root of 6, and so we're going to do f of the square root of 6, which is putting in square root of 6 again, so it's the square root of 6 plus 2. That's my answer there. If I had a calculator, 
or when I had a calculator, I'd evaluate that. I'd get an approximation just like the square root of 11. Now, last one on 3, g of g of negative 1. So we do g of negative 1, g of negative 1 is negative 1 squared, which is 1, times 2, which is 2, plus 1, which is 3. So we're going to do g of 3 for our overall answer. And then we'll put 3 in there. 3 squared is 9, times 2 is 18, plus 1 is 19. So that's going to be our solution there. Okay, moving on to problem five. They want you to write the composites using this. These are rules because they don't have values here. So we're just going to plug in the functions into one another for the x values. So if we're going to do f of g of x. We're going to take g of x and plug it into f. So f is 2 minus x. Well, the x now is g of x. So we're going to go 2 minus um, 3x plus 1. We change the signs. So we're going to get 1 because these two combine into 1 minus 3x. So that's f of g of x. Now we do g of f of x. We're going to take f of x and plug into g. So we're looking at g now as saying 3 times g uh, times f of x. 3 times f of x. plus 1, 3 times x, but x is f of x now. So we're going to take 3 times 2 minus x plus 1. And simplifying that, it's going to give us 6 minus 3x plus 1, or 7 minus 3x. will be our solution to that. Now, f of f of x. We're going to take um, 2 minus f of x, because we're plugging in f of x into f of x. So we're going to take this x value and make it f of x. So we're going to get 2 minus 2 minus x. Change the signs, 2 minus 2 plus x. So that's going to be just x for that one. And our final one is g of g of x. So we're going to take our g of x, 3, and we're going to plug g of x in there. So I took our g value and we plugged in g of x into g. So we're going to take this 3 times 3x three plus 1 plus 1. So that's going to be 9x plus 3 plus 1. So our answer there is 9x plus 4.